Mr. George Gale is a discharge letter. Nursing profession specific writing task. The writing workshop. This is a writing workshop. If anybody is in a hurry, so those people who are in a hurry can leave because this is a workshop. This is not a lecture, this is a workshop. So you are going to learn everything from the beginning to the ending, everything. Relevant information, irrelevant information, order, sequence, how to write the sentences, what sort of vocabulary you have to do, organization of the letter, what is important, what is unimportant, what uh, you should write in the beginning, what you should write in the last, everything is going to be understood. So bear the patience, no hurry. Let me remind you once again, this is a writing a workshop, writing a workshop for nursing profession. Take your notebooks. 
pencils and pens and whatever you want. This is not like everyday type of session. So, writing a workshop. What are you going to do here in this writing a workshop? You're going to learn or master the art of writing. You are going to master the art of writing. Yes. You are supposed to master the art of writing. If you just write something, there is no meaning. There is no purpose. There is no quality. So what are you supposed to do here is you have to make a difference. A difference in your presentation. What difference, be the difference what the OET is expecting from you, what the examiners are expecting from you. That is more important. Just writing something isn't going to help you in any way. So what you have to do is, you have to show that quality, you have to present that Excellence. Unless and until you present that excellence, you're not going to get it. So provide that extraordinary quality. Provide that extraordinary quality there. Fine. Okay. Right. Now here is our letter. Here is the letter. So, now let us see what are the important things. Now there are two important things. There are two important things. So that is notes. We call this as case notes. So this is the case notes. Yes, case notes. This is the case notes which is very, very important. The next one is the second part that is called the writing task. So these are the two parts of the official case notes, two parts. Yes. Now the case notes. The notes. 
and the writing task. So these are the two things which you have to understand. Fine. So we can separate these two parts. Yes. So that's very clear to us now. So these are the two parts. This is the writing task. And this is the case notes. So this is the case notes. Fine. So you have to understand the difference here. Right. Fine. We are going to study these things in detail. Now let us see what is important and what is not important. Yes. The first one is today's date is 15 May 2021. That means this is the day of date of the examination. The same date you will be writing. So 15th May 2021. This is the date you are going to write. So this is the date. And next, who you are? You are a nurse. You are a nurse. So remember, you are a nurse. So whether you are a nurse or a charge nurse or what type of, okay, that all these things. And the name of your hospital is Old Town Hospital. So this also will go into the letter. Old Town Hospital. Now, so you are a nurse and you are in the Old Town Hospital. So responsible for the care of an elderly patient who was admitted after a fall. Okay. So who was admitted after a fall. So this is an inpatient ward admitted. So inpatient ward is there here admitted. Remember that the patient was admitted. So inpatient ward. So you are in the inpatient ward. Right. After a fall. Maybe it is an emergency also. Emergency ward. Okay, fine. Inpatient ward. Right. He is now ready to be discharged. So this is a discharge letter. This is a discharge letter. You should remember that this is a discharge letter. Now coming to the point, you know who you are now. There are the important points I have brought out. Right. Now let us see. I am going to give you the date now. So the date is, this is the date. So you are going to write in the same fashion, 15 May 2021. So 15 May 2021. So this is the date. You are supposed to write this date. Remember that. You are supposed to write this date. Okay, now, next one, you are a nurse and you are in the Old Town Hospital and it is uh, who was admitted, the patient was admitted. So it is an inpatient ward. So you have to analyze all these things. So you are a nurse and it is an inpatient ward. So now inpatient is one word or two words? 
Now you have to go to Cambridge Dictionary for that. What does the Cambridge Dictionary say? Whether it is a compound word, inpatient. So inpatient is single word without a hyphen. So don't put hyphen in between, inpatient. A person who goes into hospital to receive medical care and stays there one or more nights, that means inpatient. So that is what it is, stays there. He was admitted there, you can see. While they are being treated, he is admitted there for receiving care. So that is how inpatient ward comes into the picture. Then next, old town hospital. So this part forms a part of your address. So this, you have to remember, this is your address, the sender's address, remember that. So this is the sender's address and this is the date. You got the date from here and you got the sender's details from here. Nurse, inpatient ward and Old Town Hospital. Okay, let us put it here. Afterwards, we'll see. Right, this is the, these are the, you know from where we got this. So what we can do is, these are the sender's particulars. We can say, so these are the sender's. Sender, sender's particulars, sender's particulars, okay. Sender's particulars, remember that these are the sender's particulars. This forms the seventh part seventh component that means the last part of the letter and this is the date this is the date date forms the second part of the letter the date this forms the second part of the letter so that's why number two Right. So here, this is how you have to identify these things. Fine. Right. These are the senders details. Okay. Fine. Now next, uh, we have got two different things now. So the date and the sender's particulars. Fine. Now what else important? Now let us see here. George Gale. This is the name of the patient, George Gale. So remember this and you have to mention it as Mr. You have to mention him as Mr. Okay. So Mr. George Gale and his age is given, date of birth also is given age is also given both are okay but if date of birth is given better write a date of birth or if age is given write age when both are given write date of birth better option or else write age no problem there is nothing wrong in that so this is date of birth and here is
okay fine so either date of birth or a date uh, age you can write the age otherwise okay fine so how are you going to write this i'm going to bring another component here that is subject this is the subject of the letter regarding r capital letter e small letter column immediately regarding mr no need comma no need full stop anything george gale now here you have to put a comma then date of birth immediately column then uh 24 april full you have to write no write half april 1936 that's it so now here what is this this is the subject line this is number 4 the subject line this is the subject line so the subject line so you can write in this way number 1 or or you can also write in another manner that is using okay regarding colon mr george gale aged 85 so both are okay both are okay fine there is no problem both are okay you can write either that or this both are fine okay so to avoid confusion and maintaining clarity so that is one okay okay right now this is the subject line so fair enough so we have these things three things we got now so the date don't write 155 that is wrong 155 2021 so it's a confusion because many places they write the month first so again it will be a confusion for example in america they write the month first then it will be a confusion so better don't write that so now having understood this we'll move forward to the next part we'll move forward to the next part right so uh so we are moving to the next part so i hope everything is clear for you now so yes
Yes, that is the green color. Fine. Whichever is acceptable, I'm giving you in the green color. So these are the formats which are acceptable. Right. Done. Now we are moving next. So this is to whom we are writing. So two is over, four is over. Then where is one and three? One, two, three, four. So seventh has come already. So one and three are missing. For one and three missing, we'll go here. We'll go here. So now what I want you to do is, you have, right. Now you can see, address the letter. So use the information given in the course notes, write a letter of discharge. This is discharge letter. You know that this is a discharge letter now. Now this is a discharge letter. So you are writing a discharge letter. So you are writing a discharge letter, but to whom are you writing this discharge letter? So you are writing a discharge letter to Miss Gold. Miss Gold. But is this the word which you will take from here? Definitely no. You will take from here. This is to Miss Jane Gold. Something is missing here. So you will take the letter address from here. Miss Jane Gold. Jane is missing. Here Miss Gold is there. But So avoid this one. Don't take this one. Take here. So you see which name is full name. First name and second name. Then take that name. Miss Jane Gold. So take from here. Then the head nurse. Miss Gold, the head nurse. So head nurse, head nurse, okay, I'm in a class, okay, okay, just to give me three minutes, I'll have a quick tea break and uh, okay, so with your permission, we'll have a break because this is going to be a workshop. Okay, workshop means a lot of things are there. So we are going to learn, it will take a little time. No problem, bear with me. I am taking five minutes break if you, with your kind permission, I know you will not object me. So five minutes break. Okay, fine. So you also can have tea and snacks or whatever it is okay so tea break i'm muting
Uh, now, so the address of the lecture, Miss Jane Gold and head nurse, head nurse, address the letter to, then Primrose Nursing Home, Primrose Nursing Home. So this is the third line. And three Blackwood Street. Three Blackwood Street. This is the fourth line. And Old Town is the fifth line. So five lines of address. Five lines of address is here. So Jane Gold. So all these five lines together. We are going to write the address here. So this is number one, component number one, called the address. The address. So we are going to write the address. So the first line you will be, right, you will be taking these things. Close. See, okay. So this is the address. Miss Jane Gold, head nurse, enter, remove comma, Primrose Nursing Home, enter, remove comma, 3 Blackwood Street, enter, remove comma, Old Town, and remove full stop. This is the address. This is the address. This is the address. So this is number one. So, okay. Now, Right. So we got the address here. These are the five lines. So I told you green lines. So green lines for the accepted format. Fine. So you got number one here. Number two here. So number four here. Number three. Then what is number three? Number three is salutation. So number three is salutation. Salutation is related to this only. Dear Miss Gold. The same thing will come here. Salutation will come here. So number three is salutation the salutation okay so dear then first name this is this initial miss and the last second name gold Dear Miss Gold, this is what you are supposed to write. So this is called the salutation. Dear Miss Gold. Fine.
So now these two are related here. So dear Miss Gold, Miss Gold, Jane will be eliminated in salutation. Okay, so one and three you will get from here. One and three you will get from here. Okay. Uh, Hager, just, uh, yeah, 23rd May 2021 is okay. Yeah, that's fine. That is even better. Okay. So, dear Miss Gold, Miss Jane Gold. So, from the first line, take Miss and take Gold. Miss is called the title and Gold is the second name. So, title and second name with a dear. So, dear Miss Gold. So, now we have got, so here is number one. And here is number three. And here is number two. And here is number four. And this is number seven. Seven is nurse inpatient ward old town hospital. But before this one, it is number six. Number six. Let us take this six is related to salutation. So let us take six. Yours. Sincerely. So here you will write yours sincerely because you are writing dear Miss Gold, name of the person you know. If you say dear sir, dear madam, dear doctor, dear nurse, then you will say yours faithfully. If the name of the person is known, name of the person is known because the name of the person is Jane Gold. Instead of Miss Jane Gold is not there, then you'll write dear head nurse. Then you'll say yours faithfully. Or dear officer, dear sir, dear madam. Then you will write yours faithfully. So here, yours sincerely is appropriate. So what we do is, we'll move a little up. Okay. So this relation will bring here. And this relation will bring here. This is number five. Okay. Number five is the closing uh, line. Not the conclusion, but the closing line. Or you can take the leave taking. Okay. That's it. <coughs> so I'm wantedly I'm giving these spaces so that you'll understand the difference. Okay. So, no problem, bear with me a little. So, this is the relation. These two are in relation. Okay. So, right. So when you know that the name is there, dear Miss Gold, okay, then you will write yours sincerely. Yours sincerely. Fine. So if you do not know the name, sir, sometimes we do not know the name, then what we are supposed to do? The same things you are going to use here, the same things you're going to use here. Okay. The alternative option. If the salutation is like this, uh, the salutation, this also is the salutation only. But this is the contra option. The salutation, if it is like this, how...
it will be dear uh, head nurse or dear nurse then it will be different then it will be like this number five the closing line the closing line will be like this so it will be like yours faithfully so you can put a comma or you leave a comma no problem that's not a big uh, concern here okay So this is the point in question. So then you will be using this type. Okay. So these two are locked here now. So these two are related. You can understand the relation here. And these two are in a relation. So don't get confused with these two things. Right. So, when you say dear head nurse, so you don't know the name of the person, then you say yours faithfully. You say dear head nurse, then you say yours faithfully. And when you say dear Miss Gold, that means you are talking, taking the name of the person, then you say yours faithfully. I think it is very clear for you now. Okay. Right. If Mr. or Miss is not given, then okay. So you just write dear doctor or dear nurse, that's all. Okay. So if nothing is given, then you don't know what they are. Then you just write MS. Don't write Mrs. MS means when you don't know anything, you don't know anything, safe side, MS, that's it. Okay. So if married person is there, if a person is married, you know for sure, then write Mrs. And if you know that the person is not married, then you write Miss. And if you don't know whether she's married or unmarried, then just write Miss. So first one is confirmed married. Second one is confirmed unmarried. Third one is doubtful. You don't know anything then miss that is very clear for it so i hope you got the information now somebody raised a question there so kavita yes so clarity you got the clarity now so you can write misses in the case of unmarried unmarried candidates unmarried ladies if it's a misses Okay, next married persons. Then you say miss. Okay, doubtful. Then just to leave right miss. Diverse, separated, everything. But all is there, all doubtful cases, nonsense cases, whatever you think. This is, uh, you know, I'm not able to sense it out which is right and which is wrong. Then you just write MS, finished. Just write MS. That's it. So, 
yes miss with unmarried you are right if you are sure that not married then you have to write miss that's very clear so if you have any doubts you can just go to cambridge dictionary yeah yes miss miss means what yeah miss is noun a girl or young woman especially one who behaves rudely or shows no respect okay miss a title used before the family name or full name of a single woman who has no other title single woman means unmarried okay unmarried full a title used before a family name or a full name family name means second name okay uh full name or if of a single woman who has no other title okay so miss rutherford miss mm, steve miss or something like that so that is what you have to do m i s s so unmarried single single means single woman unmarried woman so that is it miss white miss carter miss helena lewis like this <coughs> so misses so this miss is different and this misses is different you see misses now misses misses a title used before the family name of a full name of a married woman married woman misses wood misses jean wood okay who has no other title try to understand here so and miss compare with miss so you have to go to cambridge dictionary miss okay miss a title used before the family name or full name of a woman used to avoid saying if she is married or not because you don't know so avoid it i hope that is very clear sir you write upside down please check it oh sorry yeah uh unmarried is miss yes thank you very much uh, married is misses thank you very much so mistakes happen like this mistakes happen like this mistakes happen like this okay so here you have to understand very clearly what you are doing okay so you have to understand uh, sorry so unmarried is miss dr farid you are very sharp okay so however clever we are however knowledgeable we are so that is how mistakes may happen okay so we have to be extra careful and we have to check and cross check thank you mr farid i appreciate you you had the courage to tell me that it is and you have a very sharp eye maybe others were hesitating whether to tell or not okay yes so by, yeah i was telling the correct thing only but by mistake i have written the wrong things that is how okay close uh so these are the things unmarried you write m i s s that means a spinster write the word spinster learn learn spinster is the opposite of bachelor s p i n s t e r for spinsters you use miss okay for unmarried young men you say master okay mr and master okay mrs and miss yes now we are learning the words so instead of saying unmarried woman you can say spinster you can use the word not under 18 not totally under 18 so you just leave it open no problem okay 
Okay, fine. So, uh, just write the first name, that is enough. No need to write anything. Just write the first name, that is understood. So, spinster is a word used for unmarried. Okay, uh, fine. Spinster. Spinster. Okay, spinster means a woman who is not married. Especially a woman who is no longer young and seems unlikely ever to marry. So, after marriageable age, most likely. So, unmarried woman is called a miss. Okay, fine. Right. Spinster. We call spinster means past her marriageable age, but not married. A woman who is not married. A woman who is not married is called a spinster. Okay. So especially after the marriageable age, that means after 18 years, still she is unmarried, then we call them spinster. So that is it. Bachelor is the opposite. Okay. Bachelor, bachelorhood. Spinster, spinsterhood. Okay. Old fashioned actually. Now we are no more using. That is the meaning. Okay. Fine. Um, right. So these are some things. We have got one. We have got uh, two. Then we have got salutation three. If the name is given, salutation three. If the name is not given. Okay. Then number four. The subject line. The four. The subject line. And five is the uh, body. And six. is the closing line this one sixth is the closing line this one okay after the body and then seven is the address your address your address what we have to write uh, if girl is 16 years old just write the first name just write the first name so fine just write the first name boy or girl george boy then write, uh, uh, what's the name? <clears throat> yeah. So just you can write gold. Uh, sorry, Jane. First name is just Jane. So write Jane. No need of miss, no need of missus. That's all. That's what I was telling you. Write the first name. If under 18 years old, write the first name. Right. So now we got these things. Now let us see. So... Now, I am going to ask you one question. So, before we start the second part, I want to ask you one question. Are you all clear with the with the other than the body? parts. Are you clear with the other than the body parts? So all the other things are eliminated now. Only body is missing. So all the seven parts. Are you clear? If it is yes, you write yes. If it is no, write no. Write yes or no. Whatever you want to write. I'm giving you just 15 seconds to write. Simon sir has been explaining for so long. Okay. And you don't want to say yes sir or no sir. Write something. No also is okay for me. That gives another explanation. Okay. All right. Uh, right. So fine. Now let us see the body. Now what is important? So wife died in 2019. And this is 2021, so he is a widower. If lady is there, you will say widow. 
and if it is a gender, you will say widower. Okay, that is important. Is a widower. Okay, widower. Okay. Now you have to see other things. Okay. Now let us see. Um, so there are, okay. So this is 15 May 2021. Ready for discharge to nursing home for temporary care. And today's date is what? 15 May. So that is today's date. So ready for discharge. So this is the discharge date. Okay. So during hospitalization, 10 to 14 May. So this is hospitalization. During hospitalization, these things were done. And uh, this is hospital admission was done here. So on admission. 10th May is on admission, 10 to 14th is during hospitalization. So you, when you are writing this paragraph, you have to write upon admission. Upon admission, comma, dot, 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 means continuation. So you can write upon admission, dot, dot, dot. Then this is during hospitalization. Then this paragraph, you will start like during hospitalization. Comma, dot, dot, dot. So paragraph starters, you call them paragraph starters. You start the paragraph with this. Okay, you start the paragraph with this. Right. You start the paragraph with this. During hospitalization. And you start the paragraph with this, upon admission. So this is one style of writing. So hospital admission was done on 10th May. These things happened on 10th May. From 10th May after admission, these things happened. So during hospitalization, this treatment record has happened. Now, is ready for discharge. Ready for discharge. Okay, the discharge plan. Okay, you're writing to the head nurse at nursing home for required further care required, ongoing care required. Okay, so here it is. These are the points. So nobody at home. So that's why you are sending to care home. Nobody at home. Patient lives alone. That's why you are sending to temporary nursing, temporary care, nursing home for temporary care. Afterwards, he'll go home. So his first time he's going there. So they don't know him. So it is not known case. Okay, so he's going there. Patient lives alone, no help home. Uh, wife, okay, passed away two years back. And son lives abroad. So no help at home. So lives alone. Keen to return to home. He's interested to go home as soon as possible. So okay, he's interested to go to home as soon as possible. Now I am placing these things with you. Now go through these points. Okay, go through these points and see. See what is important, what is not important. Okay, he already fell down. So maybe he'll fall again. So go through those things and try to understand. So what are the important things you can identify? So study through these things.
2003 osteoarthritis diag diagnosed hypertension diagnosed GORD gastro esophageal reflux disease 2013 So, 2019 non-specific colitis, colitis, ongoing monitoring, no treatment required. And for osteoarthritis, he is taking paracetamol. And for hypertension, he is taking felodipine. Felodipine. So, what are important? What are not important? You have to notice, identify the important things which are required. So next, right now, second page. upon admission go through that right now we are going to learn some sentences we are going to learn some sentences and i'll help you out now we know we know regarding this case and now treatment record this is treatment record so now here it is now you know i'm going to give you some things and we'll be writing the sentences we'll be writing the same forget about which paragraph it is going what it is going i'll give you one by one i'll give you and we'll study those things i already told you it is a workshop no hurry business okay i don't mind if it takes a little more time but we have to standardize our quality that is our foremost priority is not just to rush okay so now now let us see right 
So we have got some importance, right? Now we are moving uh, to this one. How to write? Yes, writing nursing new Microsoft Word. George Gale, Mister. Okay. So I am going to give you some things which are very, very important. So right. Fine. Right. Okay. Now, first one is in the introduction, what are we supposed to write? So, we'll pick out the information one by one. So, in the first paragraph, that is the introduction. The in, we have five paragraphs. Number one. First one is the introduction. Second paragraph is body paragraph one. The body paragraph. Paragraph one. The body paragraph two. And the body paragraph three. body paragraph three and the last one is the conclusion so fine now we are bothered about the introduction we are bothered about the introduction okay so now let us see the introduction the introduction part the introduction part Right. Now, in the introduction part, we are going to write some things. Number one, what you are going to write is now what type of a letter it is. What type of a letter it is. We should know what type of a letter it is. It is a discharge letter. So, first you should know what type of letter it is. So, type of letter. So it is the type of letter. You should know that it is a discharge letter. Okay. So discharge. Discharge letter. Number one. Next one. The case. Okay. The case. Or we can say the name of the patient, the name of the case, right, fine, the name of the case is, go here, George Gale, nothing, eh? Nien Rawal, okay, so here, George Gale. So this is the case. Name of the case is George Gale. This is case notes. You know case notes. Name of the case. Name of the patient. That is George Gale. So you have to write Mr. George Gale. That's all. So this you will write. Number two. These are the things which you have to write in the introduction. Number three, number three is, okay, so when is he discharged, date of discharge, so the date of discharge, the date of discharge, that also should be there, the date of discharge is there, 
the date of discharge is uh, dear students just to go through these i will uh, get back two minutes give me two to three minutes so go through these things and write your own um, introduction bear with me for three minutes Now we have, sorry for the, yes, yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. So now here we have, I told you, okay, fine. Now let us see. So that is discharge date is 15 May 2021. That is today. So this is today. So discharge today. Discharge date is 15 May 2021. 15. May 2021, that is today. So remember, so that is today. Then next, discharge today. Very good, Hagar. Uh, right. So I am writing regarding Mr. Gale. I don't understand why you have to write I. Is it required? No. Okay, anybody can write. So I is not important here. I am writing. Everyone will write a letter. Nobody will sing a letter or dance a letter. So I am writing is also not required. Okay, so that is it. So I am writing or not necessary. Three words are not necessary. So, okay, fine. Because you have written, I am telling you it's okay. No problem. Okay, right. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's not wrong. That's not wrong, but not quality. That is what I mean to say. Okay. So next one, fourth one. Right. Very good. You have written. You are very fast. Very good. That's I appreciate that quality in you, Hager. Uh, Hager is a nurse from the United Kingdom, originally from Ghana. She is my regular student. Okay. 
now uh right so why was she admitted okay why was she admitted and now what was the problem so you have to write the present problem the presenting problem the presenting problem is a fall a fall he had a fall he had a fall and what is the future expectation the future expectation the future expectation is uh, what you can say is um, post fall care so ongoing care or post fall care so he fell down then he need me care ongoing care okay he requires ongoing care right then what are you going to give so so what uh, what are what is what are, why are you writing this letter the purpose the purpose the purpose of the letter is the purpose of the letter is so you have to give you have to give the information this is information you are giving some information to him so information related to the person and the plan okay for temporary care so post fall temporary care post fall temporary care okay post fall care on a temporary basis not permanent basis so this is purely temporary until he is recovered to fully until he recovers fully post fall temporary care post fall temporary care okay and the purpose so you are going to educate them you are going information so provide information provide information regarding regarding what regarding what background plus plus plan for care so these are the things you are supposed to write in the introduction okay so background personal background okay regarding personal background so regarding personal background regarding personal background plus plan for care okay post fall care that's plan so post fall already care came already there is a plan so you can say discharge plan okay these are the things which you have to write so how are you going to write this introduction how are you going to write this introduction so introduction what type of letter it is it's a discharge letter name of the case mr george gail then discharged today being discharged today okay following his discharge today and he requires okay he requires post fall care following his discharge into your care today into your facility today so however you want to write you can write okay okay you can say thank you for accepting or you can say thank you for taking over or you can say mr george gail directly who is being discharged today okay so whatever you want to write however you want to write you can write okay so now i am giving you uh three minutes i am giving you three minutes so three minutes you have three minutes complete the introduction complete the introduction and write in the case in the uh, here submit your introduction here submit your introduction here you can write uh, um, two sentences 
that is equal to better one sentence that is equal to the best yes so you can write it here so However, you want to write, include all these six pieces of information here. Yes, this is Joans and Jyotis. Copy. Joan and Jyoti. Yes. Fine. So they have given that uh, here. I am writing two regarding. So two is it needed? Review. Drag changes. Two is not needed. I am writing regarding Mr. Gale. So why do you want to say I am writing? I don't think I am writing is needed. It's okay. It's correct only. But I, you are only writing, we know that at the bottom of the letter, your name and your nurse and your hospital, everything will be there. So why should you say I am writing? So no need, I am writing. Anybody will write. So why should you say writing? So I am writing, you can eliminate, no need these things. That is correct only, no problem. But it is active voice. I am writing is active voice. Regarding also, you can eliminate. So, Mr. Gale, comma should be immediate, not after. Comma should be immediate, not after space. Mr. Gale, who was admitted to the hospital due to a fall, due to a fall. Okay. Uh, fall. Then, no need full stop now then. Is ready is ready for a discharge today and requires okay and requires uh, temporary care and management okay then uh, okay are requested okay you said requested here okay fine that will take here okay uh, ready for discharge into your facility today okay it's ready for discharge into your facility today uh, and requires temporary care and management. Okay. Right. So you can also say like this Mr. Gale was admitted to hospital due to a fall. Okay. Uh, requires temporary care and management following his discharge into your facility today. Like that also you can say, okay. So requires, when you say requires, no need are requested. Okay, so either write this one or you can write this one. So then no need requires here. 
okay uh, today and temporary care and management are requested okay so that is also fine or remove are requested and say uh, and requires okay start start directly with mr gale no problem it's passive voice so when you say i it is active voice right mr george gale after comma space should be there who had a reset fall nobody has an olden fall and reset fall so who had a fall recently okay uh, who had a recent fall who had uh, who had a fall recently that you can say that is better recent fall no uh, re uh, who had a recent fall he um, who recently had a fall or who had a fall recently that would be better uh, then requires temporary care and management following his discharge today so full stop uh, at your facility you can say uh, management at your facility at your facility mr george gale who had a fall uh, okay who had a fall okay so right recent is doesn't suit here so just exclude that one because recent fall and uh, okay present fall past fall such things will not be there so who had a fall recently that would be fine or who recently had a fall okay uh, requires temporary care and management following his discharge double space you have given i think okay at your facility today okay fine next let us see so that is jyoti thomas jyoti thomas has done right next to mallika arjun murugur okay copy right uh, malikarjun okay mr george gale who had a fall request temporary care and management into your facility following following his discharge into your facility today okay now this is the next one okay i am writing this letter to send Okay, thank you for accepting, Mr. George Gale, not Gate Gale. Come on. Thank you for accepting, Mr. George Gale, who requests temporary ongoing care and assistance following his fall. Okay, he is being discharged into your facility today. okay fine that's okay that's okay so somewhere you have to write na into your facility or something okay right mr george gale who has been recuperating from injuries associated with a fall requires temporary care from your service following the discharge Okay, from your services here, discharge today. Very good, Mr. George Gale, who has been recuperating from injuries associated with a fall, requires temporary care from your service following the discharge today. Very good, very good. Fine. Next one. I am writing this letter. So avoid these things. To send back, you are not sending back. You are not sending back. You are not sending back. You are not. He is not going back home. He is going to the nursing home. Okay. Okay. You are not sending back. So that is. And everyone knows that this is a letter. So why should you write this letter? 
why do you need everyone knows can understand that this is a letter so why should you say this letter no need to say this letter it's unnecessary you are wasting your words and word count and everyone knows that you are writing a letter then why should you say i am writing this letter and no need to say i am writing this letter without uh, telling this one the other person will understand that you are writing the letter then again even if you say i am writing this letter then he will like, ask you a question who are you then again he will go down and he see he will, you are a nurse that is what he is going to see there at the bottom automatically even if you don't write i am writing even if you say i am writing there is no use because you say i am writing then you say who is writing again he will go down and he will see only there automatically even if you don't write he is going to see there so who is writing is not important so why should you say i am writing who is writing this letter is not important any nurse in your place will write this letter so who is writing is not important who is the patient is important so don't write i i i anybody avoid that one that is the reason why i tell you i is not important avoid personal pronouns avoid personal pronouns then writing yeah it is understood so here avoid personalization avoid personalization many people say i am writing why is it necessary anybody will write this letter what is speciality in you to write this letter anybody will write this what is so special i am writing so what i am great or what anybody will write any nurse will write so no need to say i am writing because even if you write i am writing then again who is writing who is this i he will go down and he has to see who is that yes it is a nurse and what is the name of the nurse there it is there so even if you don't write also you will automatically go there and even if you don't write that is not going to hurt you because who is writing is not important and yes second one writing so first time i have seen here i am writing so i did not mention because uh, first time i have seen here but here it is the same thing again repeating so i have to tell you something is going wrong here so now writing writing the word is redundant okay avoid redundancy what do you mean by redundancy these are top rules sir now redundancy what do you mean by redundancy what do you mean by redundancy if you don't know go to cambridge dictionary personalization redundancy go to cambridge dictionary and see there i am not telling anything I'll go and ask cambridge dictionary redundancy redundant redundancy what do you mean by redundancy if you don't know you see one maybe you don't know this word only maybe you don't know this word only okay a situation in which someone loses their job because their employer does not need them redundancy the other meaning is a situation in which something is unnecessary because it is more than it is needed there is no need writing you are writing only everybody can understand that it is writing do you understand what is the meaning of redundancy a situation in which something is unnecessary because it is more than is needed that means it is unnecessary even without writing it people will understand so why are you using the word writing when because everyone only will write a letter not sing a letter not dance a letter that is i think you understand what i am telling you i'm sorry okay i want you to understand i want you to understand what redundancy is and next to what personalization redundancy is not an ordinary word not everyone knows this word redundancy is a c1 word redundancy 
is a C1 word. It's not an ordinary word for everyone to understand. Yes, it's a very specialized word. It's advanced word. Very advanced word. It's not an average word. Okay, so avoid that those words which are redundant. That means understood. I am writing. I am also is understood because you are only writing, not somebody else will write. Even if you don't write, people will understand that who is writing. Okay, personalization, avoid using I. And this letter, this letter, avoid a redundancy. So it is unnecessary because everyone knows that this is unnecessary. So nobody needs to know that this is a letter because this is a letter. And without even a fifth class boy will understand that this is a letter because address is there, uh, salutation is there, closing remarks are there, and the address renders address is there, and the body paragraphs are there. So this format is called a letter format. So everyone can understand without anybody inform, without anybody providing information. Then why are you providing this information that this is a letter, and this letter? So yes, this is a letter. So avoid redundancy, avoid unnecessary things. No need at all. No need. Not necessary. So straight away start from Mr. George Gale. This is danger zone. It's correct only. And the next one is I am. Avoid contractions. Why are you writing I and apostrophe? Sorry, M. It's contraction. Avoid contraction. The second mistake is write I am. Why are you writing I am? Contractions. We call this as contraction. Avoid contractions. Don't write apostrophes here. Shortcuts. Contractions means short forms. Cannot, can't, don't write can't, write cannot. In official written formats, you are not supposed to use contractions. Don't use contractions. Avoid contractions. Don't use contractions. Don't say I'm, say I am. So, Mr. George Gale, G capital letter, not small letter. So, so this is a danger zone. First of all, it is active voice, not recommended. And writing, everyone can understand that you are writing. And this letter, everyone knows that this is a letter. So what special thing you are showing here? Nothing. Nothing is special here. I is not special because anybody in the place of nurse can write this. Okay. So danger zone. Send back. You are no, you're not sending him back there because he did not come from there. He came from his home and you are sending to the nursing home for temporary. Okay. Yeah. Mr. George Gale, comma, who is being discharged today, comma, requires temporary further care and management at your facility. Okay, finished. Mr. George Gale, who is being discharged today, requires temporary further care and management at your facility today. What about post-fall care that you can write? Okay, right. Next, Sarita Chinnan. I am referring Mr. Gale who had a recent, who recently had a fall. Not recent fall is not, doesn't suit here. Okay. 
ए फॉल वो हैड ए फॉल रिसेंटली ओके देन अगेन ही इज नॉट नीडेड बिकॉज ओके हु इज यू आर यूजिंग ऑलरेडी हु यू यूज हु मीन्स ही ओनली मिस्टर गेल रिक्वायर्स टेम्पररी केयर एंड मैनेजमेंट एट यूर फेस ओके फाइन थैंक यू फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग मिस्टर गेल was admitted to hospital due to a fall he requires temporary care and management following his discharge today okay right uh requires active wise he requires active wise avoid active wise okay Who was admitted is passive wise okay fine but here he requires temporary okay temporary care and management is required following his discharge today he is required right passive voice is possible the next one okay uh, sir can you write sample introduction okay i am correcting many introductions so mr gail who was admitted comma who was admitted with uh, history of a fall with the history of a fall the history it's not a history it's a recent one you cannot say it is a history it's a recent one just a straight away after fall emergency he got got came in an ambulance it was not a history it is a present story okay present action present today itself within 24 hours okay he was admitted there okay so then afterwards sir uh, right who was admitted due to a fall right uh history you cannot say who was admitted to our hospital following a fall okay who was admitted to the hospital following a fall so you can write here so you can i'm putting a question mark here okay fall comma requires after requires no comma before requires comma temporary care and further management following is discharged today very good very good and mr gail comma should be immediately mr gail who was admitted following a fall okay needs temporary care and further management so need is already there then requires is not needed okay uh following the discharge okay into your care today so today you can pull it backwards okay discharge into your care following the discharge into your care today or into your facility today okay so when you are into your care means person into your facility means clinic or hospital or nursing care so into your care into your facility means building into your care means personal okay right into your care means into the care of a person individual into your facility means a building not one person but an organization so this is not a one person but it is an organization nursing home so a facility is better yes please check my one yes correct okay fine uh yes very good so i hope you understood the styles so now what i want you to do is okay uh so raj lakshmi then here dr farid okay wrote another one okay fine raj lakshmi miss gail who has been injuries associated with a fall request temporary care from your service following the discharge today okay one more is left let us see those that one and we will move forward Oh, sorry
ಓಕೆ ರಾಜ್ಯಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಗೇಲ್ who has been recuperating from injuries associated with a fall requires temporary care from your service following not from your service from your service means he is going home and from there people will go so at your service is better because he is admitted he is going to join there so at your service following the discharge today you are fine so that's fine here comma is not necessary okay right very good rajalakshmi that's fine so who has been recuperating from injuries associated with a fall requires temporary care at your service following the discharge today very good that's fine now so i want you to give yeah your feedback please what did you learn from this session of introduction yeah you can write your feedback in the meantime i'll discuss with people uh, how they felt uh, let us start from dr farid hello dr farid yes sir one second i'll unmute everyone okay now you can unmute dr farid okay yeah what did you learn dr farid from this part uh, it was great sir, that uh, how the discharge i mean uh, we should uh, i mean if you see you from 1 to 7 where should be the one second like the address uh, the second one is uh, the date the third is the rotation and then the fourth is the reference and the fifth is if i am not uh, fifth uh, the introduction then the body so it uh, in the sixth uh, conclusion and seventh is uh, yes so it was a, a kind of summary and uh, especially the introduction we did a lot of mistakes even so we noticed that how we should go through all these things and how should we what kind of care we should take about our writing especially uh, the introduction uh, like mr gear who was admitted following up following a fall it i mean it technically uh, increase or increase or technique uh, increase or technical expertise it's very important so and uh, it inshallah we will grip grab it more okay fine next um hager hello sir hello hager hi sir yes what did you learn today i i can say that um, there is something i didn't know about it dates you know i usually write maybe 8 stroke 11 stroke 2021 20, by now i need, i know i have to write it in full like 8th november i need to write everything in full because it can confuse people since us can start from the month and come back to the day before the year and break and other countries they start from the um, month and year so that is one secondly the introduction part where i used to write and write in regarding i know that this waste of time is not necessary to well it, it's increase my waste count which can go against my marking too so i i got a lot of experience today thank you sir yeah welcome uh, next to joan joan hello hello joan Yes, I learned today, sir, that we should be, when writing the introduction, it should be direct to the point and to write two to three sentences. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, where are you from, Joan? I am from Philippines, but I'm currently here in UAE. 
Okay. Earlier also you attended one or two sessions, right? Yeah, before. You are from Philippines? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, okay. I remember now. Okay, fine, fine. So Thank did you, you sir, have any for the Did you learn anything new today, Joan? Yes, sir. About that, uh, no need to write. I am writing because this is redundant. And the only thing I have to do is to write thank you for the thank you for. Do you need to write that answer, or immediately we will write that answer? Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Next, Jyoti Thomas from Saudi Arabia. Mm. Uh, yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening, Jyoti. Yeah, the session was uh, very useful for me. I used to write the letter I am writing in such a way. And then I understood now, um, if we write in that way, the quality will not meet. And if the introduction is uh, very sharp, uh, we can uh, get your IT score. But the, inter the introduction is uh, not in the, with the quality, we cannot get our request score. So introduction is very important and the way you know, how you taught us the quality, uh, that's really beneficial for me. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, then uh, Rajya Lakshmi from Saudi Arabia. Rajya Lakshmi. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening, Rajya Lakshmi. It's very nice, sir. I learn a lot, uh, and uh, it's uh, before I used to be writing. Uh, I used to write. Uh, I am writing. So when you took the class, I started. It's okay. I learned today. Nice introduction. I don't have any idea about that. When my friends are writing, I have looked that one. I'm writing. I'm writing like that. Uh, they used to write. Today I learn a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rina. Rina Vinish. Sir, it was very helpful, sir. What did you learn today? New things? Like uh, new things. Uh, before I was uh, like uh, writing the introduction, I am writing. So then you said it is like informal, that is not good. So uh, like recently I have changed the writing and uh, now I am practicing with this letter, whatever you have thought. Okay, that's good, that's good. Sarita Chinnan. Hello, sir. Hello, Sarita. Yes, good evening, sir. Good evening, share your experience. Yes, sir. Today I joined late, but um, this uh, starting with name, uh, it's I am I am also referring I I am also like uh, writing I am referring like that, but today I learned this one, and then other these uh, salutations, all those things. It's very useful, sir. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So we have learned all these things now. These are very, very essential. So we'll have a second session of this workshop. Okay, so we'll take it tomorrow evening and we'll complete this letter. So we have done all the extra things and including the introduction and we'll see the main letter tomorrow. So do not miss the session of the workshop second part tomorrow. Right. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.